to use them Lessons about them all If you'll please subscribe I'll take you for a ride in my animal school Hello and welcome to Animal School Today we're going to learn about guinea pigs If you hear some funny sounds in the background that's my green wing macaw banjo <laughs> who is also learning about guinea pigs. Guinea pigs? No, not parrots. In this episode, I will introduce you to 14 of my rescued guinea pigs. I will show you their daily routine, and you can follow further adventures of myself and Tam, the captain, and also learn how to draw a guinea pig. My 14 guinea pigs are called Tweety, also known as Rat Face, Cloud, Midnight and Aria, Mouse, Chiefy, Fluffy, Puzzle, Fudge, Jessica, Jelly, Doris, Alex Jews, and Tammy. At the moment they're eating cucumber. Ah. Cucumber seems to be very popular with guinea pigs. This is because cucumber has a very high water content inside. Um, that water content's really good for guinea pigs who tend to um, often suffer. No, it's okay, you can have it back. You can have it back. They tend to suffer ah. from um, like bladder problems, diabetes, all kinds of things that can go wrong when they don't ah. get enough water. And this is why I try and graze them every day when the weather is nice. So in order to clean out my guinea pigs, I'm going to have to catch some of them. Um, this can be fun. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> this is me with Fudge. Fudge is one of the lucky guinea pigs that gets to go grazing today. But she's not the only one that's grazing in the field. They're like big guinea pigs, really. Jelly is one of those rescue animals that's never properly tamed up. Um, unfortunately, I can't remember her original name, so somebody called her Jelly anyway. So while they're eating the grass, it's a perfect time to go to the studio. In these boxes are a selection of guinea pigs. The first one is called Chief. <laughs> oh. Chiefy is what I like to call a perfect pig. This colouring is referred to as an agouti. And if I put her on the grass here, you'll see that she's quite well camouflaged. So she is, is brown, and obviously the ground is brown. So she would blend in with her environment. Agouti colouring is nature's way of being invisible without making them green. Um, funny enough, this brown sort of reflects some of the green of the grass. Which helps them camouflage, unless of course they're bright yellow like fudge. They are probably the world's oldest domesticated animal, having been around since the time of the Incas. The Incas <coughs> kept guinea pigs for a number of reasons. They had them for medicinal reasons, they would eat them. Um, they had them for religious reasons, they would sacrifice them. Not particularly fun for the guinea pig during the time of the Incas. Poor Chiefy seems a bit shocked, so I'll go and talk about the rest of the house for a while. Spring is coming and the grass still needs to grow. We've got many projects going on at Captain's House that you can all follow on Facebook and Instagram. Behind me is the start of our new allotment. So far it's an old greenhouse and a lot of chicken poo. And here's another story for you. Have you ever heard of a cat and a dog being friends? Well, Kamos might have his standards and Arnold is, well, Arnold. But the two of them have an unlikely friendship. I'll let him tell you himself. What do you think of Arnold? I hate his bum. Are you sure about that? He won't stop sniffing my... The cat is literally in the dog. This is how they play. Like, the cat was letting the dog sniff. I did not let him sniff my bottom. Yep. Tedious. What's um, just been added to your daily schedule, Tam? A turd alert. And what is a turd alert? A turd alert is when... After I've done the other jobs, I have a look round to see where Arnold has deposited his uh, daily contribution. <laughs> and then I need to move it. Quite, and we'll go back to the studio. So, our original wild guinea pigs all looked like Chiefy. But what happened when we bred them in captivity is that we started to change the way they looked. If I reach in here, I'll show you Cloud. Cloud is an Abyssinian. This means that her head, 
This means that her hair goes up at a kind of funny spiky angle. She has a permanent bad hair day. It's quite rude to stroke her, it's quite rude to stroke her this way when she likes her hair to go up like that. So I'm going to show you now how to draw a guinea pig. Guinea pigs always have their bottoms slightly bigger than their heads. So I draw something that looks a bit like a pear shape leaving a couple of gaps here. This is going to be the head of the guinea pig, this end. Um, in order to do the guinea pig's ear, it's a shape a bit like the letter three, only backwards, which I'll do here. And if I want to get some definition inside the ear, I'll do another shape following the original one, which creates the inner of the ear. Because a guinea pig is a prey animal, it, you can only ever see uh, its eye from the side of its face. So I'll draw its eye on the side of its face and a dot, which is the iris of the eye. The nose, we simply do a little line here which creates the uh, tip of the nose here. And we'll have a few little holes for our guinea pig's whiskers. Whiskers, we always have to add whiskers because without whiskers the guinea pig can't feel. I'm going to go around the edge like this. And then we're going to give our guinea pig his front legs. Now, the front legs, the front feet, have four little toes on them. So we do them like sort of just it's coming out. The belly of the guinea pig down like here. When you get to the back feet, I'll show you something kind of interesting. There's only ever three toes on the back foot of the guinea pig. So we're only going to draw three in, which means we just go one, two, three. Kind of a basic shaped guinea pig. The leg going up. But when it comes to cloud here, she's a bit more scruffy, so we'll do the same basic shape, but we'll add a bit of a fringe. We obviously want the four toes in the front, coming around, scruffy on the back, three toes here, the same as before, one eye, nose, our ear, like the letter three, and then of course we want to double up our feet. Thanks for your hard work. And that's all from this week's Animal School. Please subscribe to get us more followers and earn us some money for our lovely rescue animals. We will be updating you each week on our adventures. I've got to get milk, locusts, gin and Pepsi Max.